Hey guys, so uh, a couple days ago I finally finished watching the new French revenge film called Revenge. Not joking, that's what it's called. It's Revenge. Uh, this is a movie that probably a lot of people don't know about. So uh, when I was making my list uh, for the horror movies I wanted to review for the month of October, I was thinking like of movies that I haven't seen. I heard some good things about, and you know, I was like, and this was one that came to my mind, uh, because I've, I've been recommended by a few people, more than a couple people, uh, this movie called Revenge. Uh, I, like, this felt, flew completely under the radar until, like, people started telling me about, it. like, uh, websites like Screen Junkies, YouTube channels like Screen Junkies were the ones that kind of brought this movie to my attention. They were talking about movies that nobody had seen that were really good and that they recommended people watch. And this was one of them. And I was like, huh. And I'm, so I looked it up and I liked the plot of the movie. And I'm like, huh, that sounds interesting. Uh, I mean, it's nothing like I haven't, nothing groundbreaking or anything, but that does sound interesting. Um, <coughs> I, I, uh, <coughs> sorry. I admit, it's like, I'm kind of curious, like, uh, if this movie's any good, is it as good as everybody's saying it is? And the trailers look pretty good for it. And, uh, I, like I said, I kind of went in with an open mind. Like I said, this is a movie that I'm sure a lot of people never knew about. And like I said, I like discovering new movies that a lot of people don't know about and telling people about them and kind of recommending it to people. And this is one of them. Uh, I fucking love this movie. This was a fucking movie that, I'd like, I was like, damn, when, where the fuck did this movie come from? Because this movie was awesome. Like, this is a movie that is visceral, bloody, gory, insane in some parts, never fucking boring. Uh, <coughs> I fucking love this movie. Uh, it's a... First off, it's the get the plot for people that don't know what it is. Uh, Revenge is a movie about this socialite, this girl, American socialite, this girl who has a fling with this uh, billionaire, uh, playboy billionaire, like French playboy bil billionaire, who they go to his like remote uh, house in the desert. Uh, I think it's in, I think it's in France. I don't know. Uh, somebody can tell me. It's it's a French film. It's like a lot of a lot of the dialogue is spoken in French. So I'm assuming it's France. I didn't. Know, I don't know. Is there deserts? In, somebody can fucking lecture me. Is there deserts in fucking France? I didn't know if they are. Uh, I've been to France, but I haven't been all over France. <laughs> anyway, sorry. And they go to this remote. Uh, his remote house where they are having sex, of course, and then all of a sudden, uh, unexpectedly, two of his buddies stop by who are planning a hunting trip with this billionaire, and they were supposed to be doing this like a few days later after the girl had left, but they decide to arrive early, and... At one point, the billionaire decides to go and do something, or leave the house and do something. Uh, and so that leaves the girl with his two friends. Well, things escalate pretty fucking quickly, and one of them rapes her. Nope, I, there's no other way to put it, but he rapes her. And so obviously the girl's fucking pissed, and... And furious, and when the uh, billionaire boyfriend comes home and finds out about it, of course, he's f at first pissed, but then he decides to, that he wants to s try to sweep this under the rug and make her just kind of forget about it, and throws a bunch of money at her to try to just keep her mouth shut, and go live in, like, off, like, a bunch of money that she's he's given her just to keep quiet, live in some part of the country that, you know, she doesn't want to live in. Uh, and she ha is having none of it, and basically they kill her, they throw her off a cliff and leave her for dead. And that's where the movie kind of picks up from there, because, I mean, the movie, it, it, like, you see what the what happens before 
uh, she gets raped and like what leads up to it and then what leads up to her being left for dead and of course she ends up uh, waking up and seeking revenge hence the movie the movie's title revenge um, that's basically the best way to like kind of sum up the movie uh, the plot of the movie well this movie like I, like I said it's a movie that's been done before and it's not like like fucking like anything that's new like it's basically a genre of film or like genre of film i'm not a big fan of which is the rape revenge uh genre which is a genre which i kind of wish would just die uh but this movie actually does it pretty well one this is i can't believe i'm gonna fucking say this but while there is rape in this movie the girl gets raped in this movie it doesn't fucking linger on it. It's only about a couple seconds, maybe 30 seconds, a 30 second scene, and that's it. It doesn't go on for fucking 20 minutes. It doesn't go on for like 10. It goes on for maybe 30. That's fine. It's one of those, you don't see much of it, but you hear enough noises that it's disturbing enough from what you're hearing. And you see glimpses here and there, but it's not like full blown has to show you every fucking thing that's happening to her, which I'm fine with. Uh, like I said, there are some movies back in the day that used to do these that were in this genre, like I Spit on Your Grave, where it would just have 20 minute fucking rape scene that was just unnecessary and uncomfortable. I hate fucking rape scenes. So I like that about the movie. Like I said, um,. The girl in this movie was pretty good. I I was like, have I ever seen her in anything? She is a well, she was the lead in the recent Ring movie, the ring, or Rings, which I didn't see, but I heard was horrible. And I was like, wow, that was her first like American movie that she had ever done, and like this is her follow up. You're like, holy shit, this is apparently a hell lot ten times better. If, if if the rings is as bad as everybody tells me, this is definitely ten times fucking better. She's really good in this movie. Uh, she's your heroine in this movie that is like you would expect for this kind of film. Like she, like I do like that. Like when it gets to a point where she's seeking her revenge and everything else, like she has like a fucking rifle, uh, uh, sniper rifle in her hand, and she's, you know, trying to kill these guys <coughs> with the sniper rifle, and she's obviously inexperienced because she's not, like, an expert marksman. You really don't get much of a character for her, but, like, she's just a kind of average girl who doesn't really know anything about guns, you know, never has been established she knows anything about guns. And so, obviously, she's kind of like when she tries to fire a gun or tries to attack any of these guys, like, things backfire, and she ends up, like, losing a couple of things, like an ear at one point, spoiler alert, uh, half her fucking ear. She gets fucking Mike Tyson for the death, uh, for God's sakes. Um, she, like, like I said, she gets she gets fucked up in this movie, she's, but she's, like, awesome in this movie. She's like, you're rooting for her. Uh, I've really fucking li like she was a like a character you could easily root for. I mean, like I said, you don't get much as far as character uh, other than that she's like a socialite who is fucking a billionaire. That's pretty much all you get really as far as character goes. But you know, you still kind of want to see her succeed in you know getting her revenge against these guys who are fucking creepy assholes, especially like her boyfriend. Who ends up just being like I see he's married, obviously, of course he is, um, and and his two friends, especially the one who raped her, um, and they pretty much show fucking no remorse for what they did, obviously either. Um, it's this movie. It's funny as hell. I was watching this movie and I'm like, you know, like I, I was hearing things about this movie that was pretty brutal. A lot of people were calling it pretty brutal, and I'm like, I'm watching the first hour or 40 minutes of this movie, like, yeah, this ain't that bad. It's nothing really that brutal about it. You know, it's got some, uh, like, the, like when she, like, fucking left for dead, like, one of the most brutal scenes in the movie is, like, when she's left for dead, she's, like, she fucking lands on a branch, on a tree that, where the branch fucking 
basically impales her and she's just like lying like this while the fucking branch is sticking out of her and uh <coughs> i don't know how she survived that and how did she didn't fucking break her back break her spine or paralyze i don't know but like that 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 is one thing i was thinking while i was watching that but uh like when she's trying to reach for the lighter that she has on the ground and shit like that and it's like fucking stretching and fucking causing her wound to even get worse. That's fucking brutal. Or, I was like, oh, this is you know, nothing I haven't seen that's really that brutal, but holy shit, this movie is fucking brutal. I was like, I had to open my fucking mouth. I was like, thanks, boo. And like, thanks, me. I was like, that was a stupid, it's like, kind of just think that this movie was not that brutal and then it fucking did. Like, Jesus Christ, towards the last half of this movie, Whoo! Good God! Like the scene where fucking glass gets in the girl, guy's foot. Oh my God, dude! That, that fucking that was hard. All like I. That's one of those things. Like I fucking cringed. And look, like the effects were really cool looking. And like there's a point where like just to say what like kind of get the spoilers. There's one point she breaks glass. And everybody's walking barefoot in this desert, by the way. Uh, and of course, of course, like I can imagine, like how bad their fucking feet are by the end of this movie. Like everybody is fucked. But she breaks glass uh, from this flashlight, uh, and while she's being chased by one of uh, the friends, uh, the billionaire's friends, and she breaks the glass while she's running away from him, and. Uh, he fucking runs so fast that he doesn't see it and fucking just slices his fucking foot and it's disgusting. Like, he's like, ah! And he shows, like, he has to pull a glass out his foot. I'm like, fuck! I was there, like, Jesus Christ, that was a heart. And then, like, at one point, he gets in a car right afterwards and he has to press his foot down and he got, that he got that big giant cut out of, like, just gushing blood like every time he presses the fucking gas pedal like, ah fuck you movie like that made me cringe like jesus uh that scene where she has to fucking cauterize her wound that was like at one point i thought oh this is the most brutal part of the movie it's fucking pretty brutal like when she she all right it's one of those movies like don't take drugs kids unless you fucking or got a fucking branch sticking out of you did give take some drugs and that's the only way you'll fucking survive this because like she takes like strong peyote and she fucking like cuts herself open to try to get this fucking stick out and then cauterizes the wound oh fuck that was brutal but then this movie like it's like it's it's what like a one upsmanship of like how brutal could this fucking movie get? Like I didn't think it could get any more brutal after like those two scenes. But then the last act of this movie is fucking insane. Like even Tarantino would be like, calm it down, movie, calm it down. Like there's blood everywhere. Like by the end of this movie, there's a final shot of like just the the it's in a living room, and it, there's just blood covering the walls, the floor, everything. It's insane. Like, these characters, if they would survive, it's like, you're watching, it's like, if they do survive, they're gonna fucking die from blood loss. Like, seriously, they can't have, like, an ounce of blood left in them. Like, especially one certain character. And I'm like, fucking Jesus Christ. Like, that was brutal. Like, they're swimming in blood. Like, one character's, like, kind of, like, swimming in blood at one point. It's like, holy shit. Like, that was pretty fucking brutal. That last act was pretty brutal. Um, like I said, it, like I said, it didn't keep me, like, I was never bored. I was just, like, to the point, like, towards the last act, I was like, god damn, this is fucking ridiculous. Like I said, even Tarantino, like, would be like, dude, calm it down, man. Uh... Like I said, this movie also, like I said, it's in front for anybody who knows, like I said, it's in, it's a French film. It is 50-50, really, as far as dialogue, whether it's French or American, because, like, when a girl is speaking, or characters are speaking to the girl, uh, she, they speak English, but then when they're, like, the billionaire and his friends are talking to each other, they're speaking French. So... 
it's a mixture of both. And <coughs> uh, towards the last act, it's pretty much all like French, but it's like there's not much dialogue either uh, towards the last half because it's like you know this girl trying to find the billionaire and his friends, and they're also trying to hunt her when they realize that she's still alive. Um, basically a game of mouth, cat, cat, mouse, and shit like that. Uh, I also okay. If there is one thing that I thought was really fucking stupid, there is one scene in this movie that was really fucking stupid that really just annoyed the hell out of me. And it's the scene right after she smokes or eats the peyote. Uh, it results in like what is my least favorite thing about horror movies nowadays that I can't stand about horror movies. And that is the fucking fake out dream sequence that she has like five of them. Like, because of all this peyote that she's eating, she's, like, having, like, these lucid fucking dreams, like, five times over, like, the same one over and over and over again, uh, basically of these guys firing her and killing her, and it keeps going and going, like, oh, for fuck's sake, like, like I say, they repeat a same sight gag, like, twice, or three or four times, maybe three or four times, almost, and it's, like, really, like, was that necessary? And like I love when she fucking cauterizes her wound. This is not this is no fucking joke. Like she cauterizes her wound and she uses it with like a beer can. So when she cauterizes it, the beer can has a phoenix on it, and so she gets like a branded phoenix on her. So it's like symbolism! Like I get it, movie. She's rising from the ashes. Oh, fucking Jesus. Like, that was lame. That was kind of lame, but kind of made me fucking chuckle. Uh, I, I, like I said, I really like this movie. Uh, I fucking really recommend this movie. That was a lot of fun. That was a movie that was like, that was a lot of fun. I did not regret watching that one bit. Um, that was a bloody, gory, uh, old school uh, revenge flick. I, like, honestly, probably one of the better rape revenge flicks I've seen in a while that doesn't just rely on fucking show you a 20 minute rape 20 minute rape scene which is nice and i i can't believe i give recommendation for that but i mean i, I i've never been a fan of that like i there's one thing i can't stand in film is when there's a rape scene in a movie it just makes you uncomfortable especially when you're sitting in a theater full of people i've been in a theater full of people when there's a rape scene and man that makes you just feel uncomfortable as shit while watching it, especially if there's females around, uh, yeah, I like I said, I recommend this movie. It, people never heard of it, check it out. It's really fucking cool. It's a really good fucking fun little film. Uh, that's uh, I still got a review uh, for the month of October as far as horror movies go. Three more movies, which are Halloween, obviously, uh, Veronica, and Mandy. Which Mandy, I've heard, if I thought. Uh, revenge was fucking bloody and gory as shit. People have told me, just you fucking wait. <laughs> like, I can't wait for Mandy. I'm saving that for last. Uh, but yeah, I'll have those three reviews here sometime in next week. I have to do it within the next week because I'm going to be off from the 27th or the 1st. I'm going to be on vacation, so uh, I have to get it in as quickly as fucking possible. And I'm working non-stop, so pff, good luck on this. Um, yeah, I still got a review First Man, uh, The Hate You Give, and uh, The Sisters Brothers. So, yeah, I had six movies to review in the next fucking week or so. This is going to be fun. So, uh, until then, I'll talk to you.